Hey guys, so the sun is setting here in London after what has to be one of the most manic days that I've worked in uh, this year for sure. Obviously, it's all because of the Arsene Wenger news, and you know, even now um, at about what, eight o'clock on Friday night, um, so much news is still coming in about Arsene Wenger leaving Arsenal at the end of the season. Um, he's one of my favourite managers in the Premier League. Um, what he did for English football, what he's done for Arsenal has been absolutely superb. I do feel it's the right time for him to say goodbye to Arsenal. I think it's a, a good decision from him. Um, but yeah, it's meant that me and probably every other sports journalist in the country has been so busy this uh, well, today um, covering the news. Um, now, aside from Arsenal and Arne Wenger, uh, I'm looking at, in this vlog today, um, Antonio Conte and Chelsea, because of course they got that huge FA Cup uh, clash against Southampton on Sunday, a game that I'm going to be at. But they beat Burnley last night 2-1. And I'm just looking back um, at that game and then looking ahead to the game against the Saints. So the key thing for Chelsea was obviously that they got back-to-back -back wings. Oh, obviously, they beat Southampton last weekend in the Premier League and then they beat Burnley. I actually thought they were really good against Burnley. Um, and a lot of that was down to the setup that Conte um, put out there at Turf Moor. And that was essentially a 3-5-2 formation. He used two strikers up front in Morata and Giroud, something he's admitted that he has done before, but actually it's not something that he's really thought of doing. Um, you haven't really seen that, you know, kind of two strikers up front um, in English football for a long time. He did it against Burnley. It worked. Um, now today he's been talking about why he chose to have them two up front. Um, they obviously linked up really well and obviously paid off having them two up front. Um, but he said it's because Chelsea like to put crosses into the box. And the problem that he found with Chelsea in recent weeks is that when the crosses have been going into the box, there's only one striker there. And sometimes there's just not enough people in the box um, to basically get on get on the end of crosses. You know, if you think about the wing-backs like Moses, Zappa Costa, who's obviously played, um, their crosses sometimes go unanswered. And so he thought, let's put two strikers up there. One can maybe hold up the ball like Giroud does really well. You saw him do that against Burnley. And one could probably finish off. Now, Morata, he obviously couldn't finish off. Um, the, the first goal was a Kevin Long on goal. And obviously, Victor Moses sealed the win. And obviously, Morata had, um, well, he missed a really good chance. So, yeah, in terms of that setup, I actually wouldn't be surprised if Conte sticks with a 3 5 2 formation against Southampton. The only problem is that you don't have space for Hazard um, or Willian in that. So, it might revert back to a 3 4 3, but it's certainly something that he can start to look uh, towards using actually more um, in the coming weeks, actually. Um, now, moving on to Morata, he did, of course, miss that huge chance in the second half. I think at that time, yeah, the score was 1-0. He missed that huge chance. And then, of course, Burnley scored. Now, Moses obviously, you know, um, saved the day for, for Chelsea. But I think Morata's um, reaction, uh, it wasn't at being substituted. It was, you know, it was his angry reaction to missing. It tells you a lot. It shows you he cares. He cares about the fact that he isn't playing as well as he was at the start of the season. He's cut, he's almost picked up, certainly, but... Clearly, there's a confidence issue with him. Um, I think he's just that kind of person. Um, when he misses chances, his confidence goes low. And I think the fact that he was brought up, he didn't have the chance to kind of make amends for it. Um, if Conte had the 3-4-3, in a lot of ways, I think Giroud will start against Southampton because he has now scored his first couple of Premier League goals. He's looking so good. He holds the ball up so well. And I think based on the, the two strikers he performances against Burnley, Juve is more likely, I think, to start on Sunday. It doesn't mean Morata doesn't have a chance to get back into the team. He does, but, you know, I think for Sunday, I think Juve is going to be Conte's pick. Um, I just want to highlight as well Victor Moses, who was man of the match, rightly so, against Burnley. He was superb. Um, he was just solid uh, throughout that game. He was crossing the ball well. I also want to highlight Emerson, because that was his first Premier League start. He hasn't played much game time at Chelsea. He didn't play much at Roma either. Um, but you saw what kind of a player he is. He's got pace and he's got very accurate crossing. Um, he, of course, uh, assisted with Moses, his winner. Um, and I don't know whether or not he'll start on Sunday just because of the fact that Conte's a bit weary about pushing him too fast too soon. But I actually think that he is going to really provide competition for Marcos Alonso on that left 
flank. Now, I'll be at the game against Southampton. Um, I'm really looking forward to another Wembley day out, um, especially with the weather as nice as it has been. Um, so watch out for my vlog from Wembley on Sunday.